Hello everyone, this is going to be an Easter egg and I am Susie J. Cobwebs. How you doing today? Well, this is between goal versus reality. Have you ever imagined that you were going to write a book? I mean, your dreams of being a New York best-selling author sounds really like far-fetched. I get it. In the back of your mind, your dreams of being this well-known author are pretty clear that this is what you want to do. With so many different obstacles out there for you to conquer, some are simple while others need emergency fixings. These are items that you have to learn when you are in the grind through the many phases of book writing. My main idea is that you need to have a far-fetched goal as a long-term goal. In the meantime, make sure that you have short-term goals in place so you can feel accomplished when you are celebrating your love simple wins. This will also help out your encouragement of a more positive mindset so you can conquer each little baby step of the way. Wait, speaking of baby steps, when you start to write a book, brainstorm your idea, your plot from basically start to finish. This could be as simple as a few fragmented sentences to a paragraph, to chapters, however you wanna do it. Knowing that you have a lot of blank spaces in your plots, a lot of plot holes, get it. Now think about ideas you would like to see in your book. Whether this section will fit in this particular book or not, this is a way to get your creative juices flowing. This may put you into like a warp speed where you can just write freely. Add it to your novel. You may have to do this many, 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 many times. Did I say many? I think I did. And when I say novel, this is actually just your plotted outline. In the midst of all this, don't forget dialogue, descriptions, clues that entice readers to stay interested. Now, as you work on many different sections, add, subtract paragraphs, chapters, this is the time where you can design your own world, however you want, however you see it. Now, once the book is written, the first draft, of course, put this away a day or two, a month, however long it takes you to free your mind. This is actually to help you forget all the intricate details so you are not reading it as what's coming out of your mind. You are reading it as a fresh set of eyes. And there is a main reason. Editing is a tough job. If your mind is clear from your novel or your manuscript, you will be able to notice more mistakes. Now, as the months pass, you realize that that far-fetched idea that you had a long time ago doesn't seem so far-fetched. You set your mind to writing a book. You accomplished it. Great job. This is a challenge that not many people can do or they don't feel that they have the skills for, but you braved through the storm and you did it. Wonderful. Congratulations. I felt this way when I was writing Betrayal in the First Degree. Now, this book has now became a four book series. I'm still working on the third book of the four book series. So if you don't know what the book titles are, they are Betrayal in the First Degree, Betrayal in the First Degree, Second Helping. I'm working on Betrayal in the First Degree, Third Dumpling, and I also have Betrayal in the First Degree for a price to pay. One step at a time. Do you have any questions or fears that are holding you back from what you want to do? Or what's holding you back for writing a book? Can you comment that down below? If you like these videos and you want to see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button so you can stay on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches.